making some pasta, I'm doing papadelli and I'm putting some parsley through it and I'm going to do a broccoli sauce with it. This dish has a couple of childhood memories in it. It's a pasta dish, but they come from different people. So the parsley that I want to incorporate into my pasta is a memory that I have from my donna. She used to tell me to go into the garden and pick herbs for her. And then the broccoli so much reminds me of my mother and the way she used to prepare the stalk and give that to my little sister and I before a meal is such a vivid memory and I still do it as an adult so I feel like she needs to be in that dish as well. And my non used to have chickens, I'd go pick eggs with him and so for me I kind of feel like the eggs in the pasta and he used to make pasta a lot, that kind of goes together. I need to get my pasta done because that needs time to rest. My pasta's made with double O flour, some semolina and some eggs. It's a very simple recipe, but pasta is the dish. The brief today is talk about your childhood. Represent the fondest memories you have in your life on a plate. Food and enjoyment and family are all so entwined, so yeah, it's pretty emotional. If I could get into the top five with a meal like this, it would mean the world to me more than any other meal I could have cooked. What are you making? Um, so today I'm going to be making some papadelli with a broccoli pasta sauce. I love papadelli, it's my favourite. Yeah. The key is getting this absolutely spot on. Mm -hmm. Love the simplicity, love broccoli and pasta, yep. but the pasta has to be okay. cracking. I must be honest, that feels very soft. Very wet. Very soft. Have you... I made, made this, this before. One, yeah. Is it that soft? Gary's concerned that if I'm going to do pasta, it needs to be amazing. I'm making pasta and sauce. It's just so simple. So this dish is without a doubt the biggest, most riskiest dish I've done in this competition. And a part of me wonders if I can actually pull that off. 15 minutes to go. Now's a good time to start rolling out my pasta and making my puppy belly. So I take it out of the fridge, roll it out, dust it with a load of flour because that's going to make it a lot easier to go through the pasta machine. When I see the tear, I instantly look at the time. I think putting the pasta inside the puppy belly could have been a mistake. And I'll be honest. I don't like it when people put herbs inside the pasta. It changes the texture of the pasta. Yeah. So I think someone may be in trouble. Yeah. The entire competition rests on this pasta. How am I going to turn this around to make me safe today? All I can do is incorporate more flour and semolina. I just hope that I can get the moisture out of it. I am anxious about how it's going to work. Time to start tying this all together. Ten minutes to go. Come on, come on. Less than ten minutes to go, and I've got to start plating up. I uh, cut a circle out of the ganache and a hole in the middle. Uh, cube up the orange jelly and put that in the centre. Next thing to do is put the chocolate crumb on top. What is that? Oh, it's just the crumble. Of what? Uh, the burnt. So I taste the crumb and something's really missing. Oh my god. I've got to put sugar. Can't believe it. That is such a stupid mistake. It just flew over my head. Can't really do much. I'm just gonna coat this in caster sugar and hopefully that it will cover the sweetness. Yes, I've taken quite a bit of risk. Um, you know, it's all in or, or, not, or nothing. High emotion, high stakes, but it's all about getting into finals week. Five minutes to go. Come on. Come on. I've perfected my prawn broth now. It's not too hot, so it's time to move on to the grilled prawn so I can incorporate them into the dish. I have definitely left it very late to cook my prawns. So I get my bowl. Yes. With my prawns? Yes. What else? Capsicum and then fried garlic. Can I ask you a very simple question? Yes. So I've got my bowl in front of me, yes? yes. 
I've got my prawn shell on. Yes. How do I eat them? Because you're going to get your fingers in the soup, aren't you? I really need to think about how I'm serving this in the next five minutes. And I don't know how at the moment. I'm starting to panic now. This is a complete nightmare. I need to rethink this dish, but I am rapidly running out of time. Sarah. Yes, Marco. It was an emotional cook-off today for you. When it's family, doing this cook made me realise how significant where I've come from, what I've learnt, and what I want to do in the future, how much they're a part of every step along the way. Tell me about your nana. My mother's mum is deaf, and I guess because she was deaf and I was little, the way we communicated was through the food. It's a very beautiful way of communicating is through food. It is. Whether it's this meal or any meal, when you put it in front of the people you love, you're telling them that you love them. I think this dish more than any would say that. I wouldn't have to say it, the dish would say it all. OK. We'll taste your dish now, then. Thanks, guys. Thank you. What do we think about presentation? I like the fact that it's not messed around with. It's pappardelle with broccoli. That's what I'm looking at. I think it's delicious. I really do. I struggle finding great little Italian restaurants that serve pasta as good as this. I just think that the flavour of the, the broccoli sings and some garlic and lots of parsley. Very, very simple, but good flavours. It may be the simplest dish Sarah's cooked to date in this competition, but pasta should be simple. The more you do to it, the more you take away from it. But the MasterChef hat that I have to wear goes into play and I go, geez, is there a way you could have got more flavour out of that broccoli. Little flurries that could have made this something that's going to truly knock it out of the park and yeah. go, you're, you're safe. So the question is, is whether pasta in its simplest form is going to be enough to keep her in the competition. Right. We're not here to fill our stomachs. We're here to fill our hearts and souls. And that is done with what you tell us and then what you tell us on the plate. And today was all that and more. The stakes were high, no doubt about it. A place in the top five. And of course, finals week. All four of you rose to the occasion. But one dish blew our mind. Reynolds, we loved your dessert. <laughs> Great combination of chocolate, orange, rosemary. The presentation was beautiful. So much technique at such a young age, 21. And you've developed so much in this competition. Oh my gosh. The best dessert of the season as far as we're concerned. Wow. wow. <laughs> Thank you. Reynolds, congratulations, you're safe, you can join the others. I cannot get this smile off my face. I'm in the finals week, all the little things that I wanted to do today, it all paid off, even though things went wrong, but not giving up really does pay off. So, it comes down to the three of you. Sarah, we loved that beautiful herby pappardelle, but that sauce needed more complexity and we asked whether or not that was too simple. Matthew, Marco loved that golden bubbly top, but what he didn't like was the balance of the white sauce. Jessica, that broth was absolutely smashing. We think the best of the season, absolutely beautiful, but the shells 
made it difficult to eat. Two of your dishes were both delicious and well balanced. But one dish wasn't. That dish belonged to Matthew. I'm sorry. That's why you're going home. Don't make me cry. <laughs> it's pretty ironic that you leaving on a pasta dish because <laughs> we think about all the pasta dishes that you've given us, they've been uh, incredible. The tortellini that got you into the competition that I know you sit at home and you make with, with your daughter. That is absolutely delicious. The blue cheese tortellini with walnuts. Matthew, you make tortellini like an Italian grandmother who loved Gianni Versace dresses. Yeah, hang on a minute. Don't forget the pie. It's the best pie I've ever eaten on this show in seven years. What are your favourite moments? I think all of the team challenges, I just loved. I think Paco Pano was special for me. Because you're an army boy, of course. You know, for us to be able to give back, I think, to, yeah. to those guys, that meant a lot to me, personally. Yeah. It's a thrill of a ride, but it's equally as fascinating for us to see the growth, and yours has been incredible. Reynolds, you know, Miss Matthew? Oh, I'm shattered. He's always so positive. No matter if it was a bad day or a good day, he's always going to support everyone. Really, you're a good... <laughs> you're a good man, mate. So, Matthew, sorry, though. It's time to leave the bubble and get back into the outside world. Good luck. Oh. Getting this far in the competition has is, is been amazing. <laughs> good luck, eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, he goes for another one. Thank you. I've loved every minute of it. I've got a lot to be proud of. I can't wait now to see how I can change my life outside of the MasterChef kitchen.